Hey everybody, it's Stefan here on Gender Queer Chat. Um, today we are talking about um, how we feel about taking advantage of um, like scholarships and affirmative action and like uh, things that are geared towards people of our assigned gender and how we feel about um, partaking in those activities um, and like uh, yeah, like like scholarships and stuff like that. Um, uh, for me personally, I really don't have any problem um, taking advantage of any sort of financial resource that is available to me. So um, I would totally feel fine applying to a scholarship that's um, assigned, you know, towards females or whatever like that. Because I frequently play the, well, technically, my license still says F card. Um, I, um, I feel like there's enough um, crappy stuff that I have to deal with in terms of uh, my gender that uh, wherever there's a chance for me to take advantage of any sort of um, like privilege, I guess you would say, or, or you know, underprivilege, depending on the situation, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Um, for instance, um, you know, I sometimes use the male restroom, I sometimes use the female one. It doesn't really matter to me. So that's kind of a level of privilege that I have there. Um, if, um, you know, I totally, you know, I would go to ladies' night, um, you know, and get my free drinks on and be like, well, look at my license. If anybody has a question, like, I'm, I would totally do that. And I have. Um, when we were buying insurance, um, Rachel was buying car insurance and we were adding me to the policy because I also drive the car and the policy went up like $30 or something like that when he put me in his mail. And we were all like, oh, why did it go up? And he's like, oh, because you're a boy. And I was like, well, technically my license says female. What happens if you put that in? And he put that in, and it went right back down to what it was just with her on there. So I'm like, Heh, whatever. You know, I'll totally play that card if it's to my advantage. Um, um, I mean, some people might have a problem with that because, like, I know, you know, some of my trans guys' friends won't do the whole ladies' night thing and you know, feel uncomfortable or whatever, but, I mean, I'm, like, I guess, you know, comfortable enough in my androgynous whatever that, you know, I'll totally, I'll totally pwn that, so, um, now if it's, like, something like, you know, women's space or, or something that like there would be like a distinct reason why I shouldn't be there or something like that like I'm not into invading other people's stuff just for the sake of it but if I feel that I belong somewhere I'm totally gonna go um, and if I feel that I am qualified um, technically under any sort of circumstances to take advantage of a resource then I'm going to do that um, yeah, so, um, that's, uh, that's my two cents on that, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking about playing the technically female card at work, um, but I'm not, I'm not really sure that I'm ready to do that. Um, they have a policy at my inventory job where... Um, females are allowed to wear up to two earrings in each ear, and men are not allowed to wear any earrings. Um, and most people at my job don't care, because I have, like, this one up here. Um, sometimes I have other ones in. I have a total of f four piercings total, but I don't usually have the other ones in. Um, but there's, like, this one lady who always, you know, gets in everyone's business and, and, uh, is all like, Stefan, take that earring out, I'm like, okay, whatever, and then I just avoid her for the rest of the night and don't, but, um, I mean, the policy is definitely sexist, and so I think my, my first thing, instead of going, well, I'm technically female, so I can wear whatever earrings I want, 
you know, I don't really necessarily want to open that whole bag of worms because at that particular job, I don't either people don't know or they haven't said anything to me. Um, at my boarder's job, everybody knows I'm trans, but um, at that one, I just I don't know. Uh, I haven't like been purposely stealth, but people just I don't know. They're it just hasn't come up because I'm really not close to them, I guess. Um, but yeah, so instead of doing the whole, well, I'm technically female thing, uh, what I'm doing right now is I wrote to the corporate office and um, is discussing that policy with them. Um, just saying that it's sexist and that this, you know, day and age, you know, a guy with an earring is not that big a deal. So we will see what they say and uh, and go from there. But um, yeah, I um, I, I really like to kind of do the you know, well, technically my license, whatever thing, especially you know in situations where it's going to um, educate someone else, like the whole ladies' night thing. Like you know, I'm sure. The, uh, the bartenders and the bouncers and whatever, they're like, hmm, you know, <laughs> so, uh, so anything that makes people question, makes, makes people think twice about their gender assumptions, uh, is totally good by me, and I really like to use that to my advantage in that aspect, but, um, I mean, overall, I don't know if it's selfish or whether it's awesome or whatever, but that's just how I feel about that, I'll totally, you know, um, whatever I can do to get ahead, I feel that I deserve, um, in terms of the whole gender thing. Um, I mean, I think gender is kind of a stupid thing to, to differentiate and to base, you know, different awards and whatever on to begin with because sexism in general is stupid, but, you know, hey, that's how it is. And so I will, you know, play your game and I will win. So, <laughs> all right. So, um, I guess that's it for now. Um, I guess if I missed anything or if anybody has any more questions or whatever, totally feel free to make your own video. Let me know, write a comment, uh, something like that. And, uh, we'll see what everybody else has to say this week. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.